So initially, we're coming through an old growth forest here, very beautiful. Wind's blowing. Hope none of these trees fall over. Supposed to see a couple of waterfalls on this hike, so we've been here once before. Let's see what happens. All right, well, initially it's downhill. As you can see, we're coming up to the creek. And we're gonna go play in it a little bit. Should be coming up on our first bridge momentarily. The major creek is over there, and this is just an offspring. All right, so that's about, I don't know, tenth of a mile in maybe. We'll come across our first bridge. We stock forward to cross the bridge or straight across. Side of the bridge, see what we got going on. It's gonna be a beautiful day. So, after about a mile or so, we're constantly walking along the river here. Beautiful creek setting. Nice trail. A lot of green. Okay, hey, see what's ahead of us. So a little over a mile and a half in, you can bear to the right and start taking a steep incline. You're gonna come to these falls here. We'll go down and boo-boo take a look at them. We'll go up top and take a look looking down. So that's a heck of a view looking down. And that is one deep hole right there. Let's go up here and cross this bridge. Sounds like it's funneling through here, which it is. Karen. Hi. Gotta love Mother Nature. On a Rio. So you gotta love these little water crossings. All right, so right at the two mile mark, roughly, you're gonna come across this bench with one heck of a view here. Uh, 
That is some deep water. Gotta love it. That's all right, we got a couple more to see and we have one heck of a water crossing across here. See you in a few minutes. All right, so we made it to the top of the falls. I do this without busting my butt. All right, so we're back on the trail. That water is so clear. That's the other side. All right, let's see if we can find that water crossing. The views along this river are just totally amazing. Looks like we've got another, some water coming over the trail again up here. Ah, uh, just a little one. Quite a bit of water though. Looks like a little slip and slide. Quite nice. Alright, here. Here's yet another one of those spectacular falls with a deep swimming pool, swimming hole, right alongside the trail. What a view. Okay. So it's about two and a half miles this trail turns literally turns to a rainforest. Reminds me of the whole rainforest near Forks, which doesn't have quite as much greenery or moss growing on everything. But as you can see, waiting for a T Rex to come running around the corner, eat up my poor boo boo up there. Sun's starting to come out. Let's see what the next corner has for us. All right, so we just passed the Wildcat Trail cutoff. We're gonna head towards the Chinook Trail up here eventually. Another little water feature cut across the trail. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so just after the four mile mark, the river's gonna fork. You're gonna come over the top of this hill here, and you're gonna have 
your own crook to cross. Right in front of you. Remember this from last time. Somebody was nice enough to put a log up there. Oh, the log's still up there. That helps. I mean, you could walk across there, but uh, it'd probably be slicker than dog snot. So we're actually going to go up top here. Yeah, you can see all the brown algae there. That'd be very slick. Somebody was nice enough to. All right, camera went across. Beautiful little area. Alright, got a decision make right here. Alright guys, so we've come to a fork after this waterfall we, I walked through. We went this way last time. Sorry. Went that way last time and there's a waterfall over that way. But we're gonna go this way up this little bump in the road and see what we have. All right, let's do this. All right, so we're gonna get down the bottom of this waterfall. That we just saw, there's a bridge. Hey, we're gonna get down here and take us a little break, have a pick and take a lunch, and decide what we want to do next. How cool is that? A little slick back here. All right, time for picking nigga lunch. All right, so we decided to follow the trail for a little bit. See where it takes us. See another fall up there. Temperature sure has dropped. Another little one over there, you probably can't see it. All right, up we go. All right, so we went up the trail for part of ways and Decided we're gonna come back and do this across this bridge, and there should be a waterfall about 0.3 or half mile on this trail. So we're gonna go find it. The sun's starting to come out, which feels good. This ice is slick. All right, let's go find this other waterfall. So after you cross the bridge, there is a nice little campground. It's got homemade picnic tables. The one we just passed had an actual picnic table. Nice little area if somebody wants to come out here and spend the night. All right, let's go find this last fall. All right, so here's the first view of the falls. I forgot the name of it. I'll post it in the uh, comments section. If I remember correctly, we ought to be able to get right down, literally to the bottom of them. Let's see what we can't do here. All right, so if you want to continue this trail, take that wooden bridge that cut out pieces for you. The trail goes off that way. We're going to venture around here over the top of this thing.
No camping. No beep. Probably gonna get some wind noise. All right, I'm gonna turn this off so I can make it down there. With both hands. All right, so we just made it down that. And what a view. Like Karen just said, burp. Beautiful view. What do you think, Karen? It's gorgeous. Windy, but gorgeous. Yep, you can see the mist flying by. Yep. All right, time to head on back. Yes, it is. So on the way back, we noticed this tree we noticed last time. I didn't see it the first time. And, uh, Mother Nature is a work of art. The roots are growing at the bottom. Go right up tree. Shade that out of the sun there. Whoops, my hand got in the way. And the tree. It's growing right up the side of it. That's amazing. Look at her, I don't bet. So we decided to take a little spur off the main trail coming back. I'm gonna try to get to the bottom of these falls that Karen wants to see. Long ways down. All right, so we made it down to the bottom of the fall. Nice little camping area here. She's a beaut. Isn't that pretty, folks? Alright, kind of head back. Alright, boys and girls, that wraps up another adventure with, with Jim and Karen. Alright, we can wrap it up. How we do? We did great. It was a beautiful hike. Um, saw lots of waterfalls. We've done it before, as he said <coughs> earlier. Um, some of the fall, I know one of the falls name is supposed to be Horseshoe Creek Falls. I think it's the first falls you see. Anyway, it's very pretty and very quiet. We heard two birds. All day. That All day. It. That was it. We passed two uh, hikers, and that was it. So. Last time we was up there, we had all by ourselves. Right. Apparently one of the hikers was camping, because they're down there camping. Right. But it was a very, very beautiful hike. Um, watch the videos, and you'll get to see what happened. So if you're ever up in the Gifford Pinchot National Forest, stop by. Till next time, God bless. Bye-bye. Be safe out there.